I have very limited water supply, even though I have a year-round creek. I won't be pumping out of the creek because the creek is really um, uh, actually classified as sensitive stream. We had to modify the outlet on the tank to accommodate a two inch high pressure fire pump, which will gravity feed the pump. I have uh, in the roof of my house actually I have asphalt shingles which are dried out and pretty flammable so I keep them moist if there's airborne ash. Having it for emergency for here and for my neighbors basically wherever it was needed. Since we uh, spoke yesterday, we have installed a new high pressure pump onto the big tank, which is 1,100 gallons of water. <laughs> yeah, open it right up. Yeah. And we have it isolated with two other taps. Okay. So we always check, like we have a leak here because it's not tight. Yeah. Make sure that's closed. Okay, this one's closed. Okay, that's good. We got a bit of a leak, that's good. That shows me there's water. Yeah. And then when I when I get you, when okay. I start the engine, then you gradually open that. Slowly, yeah. got it. This is the first time this engine's run. Right. So. mobile water that we can do a little bit more if we have you know a lot of airborne ash from a forest fire which we have very close here the wind changes and all of a sudden the ash is airborne and the fire starts starting little fires ahead of it now we're mobile we can go around the neighborhood and help with fire control and preventative you know, wetting things down that are too dry. So, putting out fires that we don't want. <laughs> yeah, we're doing our best to uh, do our little part and uh, hopefully we'll uh, get some rain soon.
his valley is much too deep in this mountain so very high well, my cup is nearly empty I got such a long long way to go 